Hey everyone, I just wanted to touch base um, and talk about a few things that I've been hearing from a lot of you and I figure if I'm hearing it from that many people, excuse me, I'm trying to keep a bad little dog contained right now. Um, if I'm hearing it from that many of you, that means that there's probably a lot of people struggling with this that I'm not hearing from. So just kind of wanted to put some stuff out there so that maybe you feel a little less alone in your reaction to this past week because it's been a lot. Um, the first is that I was talking to a couple of survivors today and they expressed the um, that they feel the need to be watching everything as it happens in real time and you know being on social media and reacting to every single terrible thing and um, and that it feels really dangerous, you know, that it feels like, like to not be um, connected to the news and everything in real time feels dangerous. And I understand that. Um, but the reality is that the state of things is nothing new. Um, and it didn't get this way overnight and it won't get fixed overnight and the world is not going to collapse if you go into a news blackout for a few days and take care of yourself so i strongly recommend that if you are have sort of gone down that rabbit hole of watching everything and your outrage level is you know at a 12 all the time, which I understand. Um, it It's a good idea to step away and get outside and pat a dog and sit face to face from a friend, you know, and have coffee and talk about something else. Or if you have to watch TV, I can't recommend the great British baking show enough because it's lovely and everyone's polite and it's just flour and sugar and butter. Um, but step away and, and, and give yourself a break. It will all still be there. Um, so that's one thing. The other thing that I'm hearing is a lot of survivors having physical reaction to what's happening. And I think sometimes I'm so immersed in the world of trauma and, um, that sort of thing that I forget that some of this isn't common knowledge. So your body stores trauma, like at a cellular level, your body stores trauma and it stores pain. And so, I mean, I, I have been experiencing trauma related pain this week. Um, that's a thing. It's a thing that sucks and it's a thing. Um, so you're not crazy. This is your body that, you know, that there's that great book, the body keeps the score. The body remembers your body has memories and so it stands to reason that your body's memories are triggered too so again honor where you are at if you need to go to bed earlier go to bed earlier eat when you are hungry sleep when you are tired drink lots of water um, if you can exercise that really does help if you need to see your doctor see your doctor um, so that is really important. And then the last thing, and this is another thing that I sort of forget that people don't necessarily know. I've heard from a lot of women who are really struggling this week and it's, it's giving them a little clarity on how deep the trauma runs and, and how big a grip it has on them. And so when I have recommended that they seek a therapist trained in trauma, a lot of them have really balked. And it came to light through my conversations with them that that, that reaction was based in the thought that trauma therapy involves you sitting there and talking about your trauma incessantly. And I forget that people don't know that if they haven't done it. So let me just say this, that is not typically what trauma therapy looks like. Um, 
more often than not, any therapist worth their salt is going to spend the first part of any sort of um, endeavor to work around your trauma in giving you grounding techniques and coping mechanisms and assessing where you're at because I don't think that relentlessly perseverating on the facts of what happened ever got anybody better. So just know that if that is something that has been holding you back from doing work that can give you a better quality of life, please don't let that be the case. Um, and if you are seeking therapy, really look for someone who is who specializes in trauma because not all therapists are created equal. So that's about it for now. I just, um, I'm going to practice what I preach and step away a little bit. I've been uh, neck deep in this. Um, all week, which is fine. Um, but now I need to do what I'm telling you to do. So I'm going to go pat a bad little dog and I'm going to make some food for the people I love. And I'm going to watch lovely British people make desserts I've never heard of because it makes me feel better. <laughs> um, so I'm thinking about you guys continue to reach out. Um, you know, I, I've been pretty good about keeping up with it. Uh, if I haven't gotten back to you, I will. It's been a lot, but I will. Um, but I think I'm, I think I have. Um, and again, if you need resources, just reach out. Okay. You're not alone. And, uh, this will pass. Okay. Bye guys. <laughs>